Hey guys, so today's video is a makeup tutorial on the look I'm wearing right now. It's very bold, perfect for the holidays. It's not like your traditional, typical holiday makeup, but I really love how this look turned out. And this video is really, really exciting because it is a collab with my friend, Raw Beauty Christie here on YouTube. I'm gonna link her channel down below. I'm also gonna link her video down below, of course. We thought it would be fun to collab in a video together where we are both using the Dream Street palette. Her look has a lot of the blues involved, very colorful, so I wanted to do something a little bit more warm and more in like the natural color category so that the looks could be completely different. I haven't seen her look yet. I haven't seen it yet. But I know it's gonna be amazing because she is so talented. She's one of my favorite YouTubers to watch because of her talent. She's really great at makeup and she creates the most beautiful looks all the time. I highly recommend you checking her out. And not only is she talented, but she's awesome. Her videos are super informative. She teaches you things. She makes you laugh. She has a great personality. Definitely check her out. You guys will not regret it. You will love her. She's just awesome. I cannot say enough good things about her. Really humble and super genuine. So definitely check her out. And I know this is such an old school collab. I feel like people don't collab like this anymore. These days, a real collab is when you actually collab with somebody, like in person. But I don't live in her state. If I did, we would totally collab in person. So we we're both doing makeup tutorials and I hope you enjoy both of them. If this lip is a little bit too bold for you, you can totally switch it out, pop on a nude lip and this look becomes a lot more wearable. But I wanted something a little bit more bold and fun for the holidays, so that's what I did. But anyway, no rambling. if you wanna see how to get this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so my eyes are already primed like huge, and the first color I'm going in with is Magical. I'm going to take this color on a big fluffy crease brush, and I'm pretty much just gonna apply this everywhere. This is gonna be like my base color where everything is gonna just blend on top. So I'm just buffing this all over my crease, on my lid as well, just all over the place. Now I'm going into the shade Potion and this one is going to be like the main color we we're putting down. I'm applying this on the outer corners of my eyes and I'm also dragging this color into my crease while I'm building up the pigmentation little by little. Going back into Magical, I'm just blending out any harsh lines. I go back and forth with these two shades um, like two more times just so that everything is nice and blended. So going back into Potion, I'm just building up that color and yeah, it's a lot of blending as usual. I'm gonna deepen up the outer corners just a little bit so I'm gonna apply some of that Elfish color right at the outer corners. Going back into Magical, I'm just gonna blend out those edges again. I'm really good at explaining my makeup looks, obviously. <laughs> so now I'm taking the Violet Boss Glitter Glue. Glitter glue, this is a good thing to use if you don't like to wet your eyeshadows. I know some people don't like to do that. So I applied a little bit on the inner corners and then I applied Stardust right on top. And this really makes your eyeshadow pop. Obviously it's like for glitters and stuff. But I didn't apply it to my entire lid because you saw it kind of took off the eyeshadow underneath. So I only applied it in the inner corners just to make Stardust really pop. And then I wanted to add just a little bit more of that chocolatey brown color on the outer corners, so that's what I did. And I really wanted the look to just have like a little bit more warmth, so I took the shade Spark and I'm applying this ever so slightly in my crease. This color is very, very pigmented and it can make your look look really pink really fast. So I applied just a little bit of this in the crease and I feel like it makes such a difference, but in such a pretty way. I, it added like a nice pinky warmth to it. I really love that color. And then for my brow bone highlight, I took a little bit of Mooney and I highlighted the brow bone. And then this part, listen, listen guys, I had a lot of coffee right before filming this video and I could not get my eyeliner to save my life. So I went in with the Inglot Gel Liner number 77 and I did the best I could at a winged liner. You know, I try. It's not my strong suit, I gotta say. So I just popped on a lot. I really do think this look does need a winged liner though. I mean, it doesn't need it, but I think it looks so pretty with a wing, and then I just cleaned up underneath my eyes, and I'm moving on to the rest of my face before, well, I'm moving on to the face before I finish up the eyes. I went in with my Imani Perfect 10 Primer Serum to prime and hydrate the skin, and then for foundation, I really wanted kind of like a flawless foundation look, so I went in with the Dior Air Flash Foundation, which turns out this isn't breaking me out. I thought it was, but I guess it's not. That breakout above my eyebrow, it wasn't from this foundation. It was something else, but anyway, I'm applying this to my entire face. This color is a little too dark for me, so I'm trying to make it work and highlight with my concealer and stuff. So I went in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Neutral 
to mask those dark circles and to highlight the other areas of my face. To set that concealer, I went in with my Wet n Wild Press Powder in Warm Light. I love this powder. It's drugstore, but so good. And I'm just using my little setting brush to set my concealer down. Okay, so let's finish up the eyes before we finish up the face. I'm going in with Magical on my lower lash line on a big fluffy pencil brush. And then I'm gonna go in with the shade Potion and I'm gonna do pretty much the exact same thing, only I'm gonna be a little bit more precise with the shade, not so all over the place. We're pretty much copying the top lid. So now I'm gonna take a little bit of Elfish and I'm just focusing this color on the outer corners of my eyes just to mimic the top lid, like I said. <laughs> I'm gonna apply some eyeliner to my waterline. This is the M Cosmetics Illustrative Eyeliner in the shade Black. And then I'm gonna pop on Mooney on my inner corners. Decided to go in with some falsies. These are the Ardell Glamour 113 lashes. I really love these. And then I popped on some mascara on top of that and on my lower lashes as well. This is from Thrive Cosmetics. I am loving this mascara. But to finish up the face, I'm gonna go in with my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer with this Lisa Frank brush that I got on the Ipsy website. They had like a deal where they were selling this brush. One of my subscribers tagged me on it in like a tweet or something and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to buy this brush. So thank you to my amazing subscriber because I did. <laughs> and then I wanted to warm up the face just a little bit more so I took another Physician's Formula Bronzer. This is like the Mineral Bronzer and I'm just adding a little bit of this just to warm up the complexion. For blush, I'm taking the Laura Geller Honeysuckle Baked Blush. I love this blush because it has like a soft, luminous glow to it, and I really, really like it. I'm just popping that on my cheeks. And then to highlight the skin, I'm taking the Ofra Highlight in Glow Goals. Glow Goals. I feel like that is such a tongue twister. This is the Nikki Tutorials Highlight. I love it. So pigmented, so creamy, so juicy, so good. I love it. So I'm just popping that on my cheeks and a little bit on the nose. And then last but not least, I'm popping on this lip color. This is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Hilda. It's such a nice, warm, matte brown. This actually looks a lot like Taurus from ColourPop, just saying, in case you wanted a dupe. But anyway, guys, that completes this video. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. to watch when they up suck as that may sometimes that's just the way things go talking about there's always a way you taught us that oh, you mean like the way one of you idiots does some bass average crazy thing <laughs>